everybody my name is Samantha so uh, today I want to talk about the pros and cons to knotless braids um, let me grab my list so um, I'm gonna go back and forth between the pros and the cons uh, but the first pro I would say is um, you can do like cute buns like this i love doing this messy bun like it just looks it looks effortless and then you know you have your little leave out pieces that make it just look cute and um stylish that's my first pro is the bun looks that you can do with the knotless braids con that i have that i can say with the knotless braids is that um when you wear them down they could look kind of like thin, I would say, but if you have a stylist who, um, and you let them know that you want them really small and fuller, then it should be fine down. You can also add like the curly pieces in with it to make it look more fuller. Uh, back to the pro, they are tension free. So. Um, the first day I got them done, I could put them up in a bun or move them around. I didn't have a headache or anything, so that's really nice because they start off braiding your natural hair. So that's really nice that you don't have a headache after you get your hair done. Uh, back to the cons, One of, another con that I had was that um, the hair was kind of itchy like on my neck when I wore them down the first day. I don't wear them down that often, so I don't experience that, but it was very um, itchy on my neck, and that could just be the brand of hair that I chose. Another pro that I had was the hair is like super easy to style and get ready for work. Like sometimes I like to wake up last minute before I have to get to work, and you don't have time to be, you know, curling and flat ironing and uh, wetting your hair, whatever you do to your hair to get your styles for work. Uh, with the knotless braids, you can even do your bun the, um, the night before and it'll still be fresh for work when you get ready. Another thing I like about this hairstyle is that you can um, make it look messy, you know, for like the weekends or when you're not going to work but you could also make it look professional with like sometimes my bun looks like more neat and I don't have all these pieces out and or I could do like a low bun in the back and that's really cute for work and stuff now um, I don't have any more cons to say about them it's about this hairstyle so um, I'll just say tips on how to maintain it so the first tip would be wear a scarf definitely every night i wear a scarf you know to keep my roots looking neat and um also i would say i skipped this part when i got my hair done you're supposed to dip the ends so that they don't unravel or you can burn the ends so um just to keep the the little curly pieces at the end from falling out um, I would definitely recommend just to take the extra step um, so your hair can last as long as you want it to so um, those are my pros and cons and tips on how to maintain uh, I definitely recommend this hairstyle um, for anyone who wants a low maintenance um, easy to style and keep still cute and trendy so um, I hope you like this video uh, you can give it a thumbs up a like that would be very helpful um, and yeah thank you